but no promises of course who knows what lair's ready and willing to throw our direction in the the next few moments here oh me oh my do i have any garbage i guess heavy hand axe i might be done with you for the foreseeable future bunch of these old armors can go that should do it fantastic and more ids if you could be so kind to CSS, wouldn't mind an acquirement here or there for sure oh boy oh boy new things indeed and i'm enjoying the new things so far this coggling species is very interesting okay i think our magic resist yeah is too high or our willpower i guess as it's actually called is high enough for petrification to not be a danger to us here today love to see it what the heck are you a pile of debris if struck it will crumble away soon after so maybe kind of like the plant mechanic you hit it once and then it does degrade interesting what's the quick and dirty on coglings main thing is two weapons so you're able to dual wield right now we're using this lovely little hand axe and the shlele here um so they attack together uh your attacks start off dealing reduced damage and attacking slower but as you're in combat you'll rev up your exosuits engine and get it going to full speed and what else yeah i guess so they're always attacking both at the same time so really high damage output but just a little bit trickier to use or at least needing to pay attention to how quickly or more accurately how slowly you're able to attack and those are the big things we're about to get to another big point on them i believe they're able to invent a gizmo at level 14. no idea what that means but we've been getting inspiration on a bunch of different ideas for the polythemizer ti-79 and whatnot so hopefully it's something cool i'd assume so definitely sounds pretty nifty but okay we've hit all the skill caps we had set i might just put evo back on seeing as how the uh, Aptitude is going to carry us pretty far in that department. I should maybe learn some throwing. That would be useful to have in our back pocket. We're likely to never train more axes. I guess broad axes uh, will bring us to 16. But beyond that, there's not a lot of rhyme or reason for going further. And holy moly. Well, that was feeling a little dangerous at times, but nothing we can't handle, I guess. Well, my deathly friend, let's try to get you a bit poisoned up. Man, this shlele. I don't know, it feels like the shlele is killing. For all I know, it's just the fact that we're hitting twice and our drain is also doing some pretty incredible work, but... I gotta say, there's something about the animation of the shatter effect that just makes it feel that much more uh, visceral and effective. Especially in this context, look how we're injuring all of the the death yaks as they try to crowd their way through the opening see how i i farm the death yaks very mindful and all that good stuff uh plus two pair of boots definitely should have picked you up when we came in that was a bit of an oversight on our part here you mean cleave drain plus devastator is pretty mean it is wild stuff so far for sure <laughs> Especially with the cross training to maces and flails, I didn't even have to throw any train in that direction. I guess I could be attacking faster if I did put some maces and flails into the the mix here. I don't know how late into the game will I continue this uh, the shillelagh action. Could not tell you with any extreme level of confidence. Ooh, I also didn't realize that we're up to five pips of piety, which brings us heavenly storm. But Serpent Slash is the big one. It costs very little of our, our god points here. And I believe we'll just freely rev up our engine, right? Because these are all kind of free. Plus they never miss, so that's nice to rely on. I guess we'll try it out. The next scary enemy we come across, I should try to be a little bit more cognizant of that and throw it out there to see just how effective the shenanigans will be. In fact, explosive movement time. 
Let's try to take down this snail, shall we? I mean, it worked well there. Can't tell you how much of that was actually due to Serpent Slash versus just that was a very doable fight. But again, it feels good, and that's the important part. <gasps> Feel burst of inspiration. We're finally ready to make a one-of-a-kind gizmo. Okay, so pick this up. Let's head upstairs and invent gizmo. The Y90 intro linkage. Auto dazzle. Some mana, wizardry, and slay. I mean, slaying, I think, will be pretty huge. A pilot transducer. Gadgeteer. Resist electricity and resist cold. We are looking for resist cold right now. That's one of our lacking departments. Or the promonolicer. 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 Something like that. The IF30, as we've all come to know and love it. Resist corrosion, resist fire, resist poison. I mean, this one is probably the best in some ways. You know, we're getting three solid resistances off of it. It's not as useful in the immediate because we have resist corrosion and resist poison sorted. But how does Acrobat work with Whirlwind? And that's a great question, Seyfid. What the heck does Autodazzle or Gadget do? I'm making all these assumptions, but should take a look. Sometimes fires a blinding ray at enemy whose attacks you dodge. Interesting. So we want some evasion for that. And then, yeah, I think the slain will be doubly effective because it hits both weapons. So that's just really great, even if I'm not a big fan of wizardry and MP. But Gadgeteer. Vocable items recharge 30% faster, and wands have a 30% chance to not spend a charge. Could start slinging out the uh, the wands there. Let's auto dazzle the uh, gold gods thing. Yeah, it does sound a little bit different, as you noticed as well in the end. But I guess similar in regards to uh, decommissioning enemies or giving them some some good old crowd control effects. This is interesting to me. I like evocables. We have a plus three in evocations. So if I can just endlessly throw out wand things, seems useful. Cold resistance is one of our categories that we're currently struggling with. Resist electricity, still nice if we ever swap away from our main armor. So maybe we'll try that one out. It feels most on brand out of all of these. I really like this system. I'm guessing these are always random and there's probably some configuration of like, looks like there's kind of one main ego. Don't know which it would be on this. Maybe both Rampage and Acrobat is a bit of a combo piece. And then an assortment of random little ones. I like that a lot. Each uh, Cogling will feel very kind of special and unique in their, their own beautiful way here. Man. I feel like I could just sit on this decision for the rest of my life. So, to avoid that eventuality and to keep the ball rolling here, keep some momentum, I'm going to go with Gadgeteer. I really like it thematically. So we're going to give it a shot. Install it into our exoskeleton. Beautiful. Everything we want and more. Ooh! There's that uh, that Hydra that I've been concerned about this whole time. What can I do with you, my friend? I mean, I can try to reach out and grab you. You're not responding well to that kind of uh, effect, though. In fact, I'd like to get a little bit of distance from you, my friend. We'll head upstairs, maybe, and head to another stairwell. And we shall see. How we decide to shake things out here. If I have the Hydra at a bit of a distance again, then I feel like we might have some ability to, to weed them down, to uh, to besquish upon them some damage, as we covered earlier. There we go. Okay, it did see me. Is it smart enough to get around the plant? Oh, me oh my. Time for evocation 20. That's 
Gonna be the plan here. Hopefully we get some rechargeable evocables. Oh, I didn't realize it takes an inventory slot. Son of a gun. My one weakness, inventory management. Does mine burst damage scale with the number of Hydra heads? Feels like it should. See, you are breaking ground into uh, a series of questions that we've pondered many times on this channel. Because does any kind of concussive force yeah, get multiplied? Do all eight heads of a Hydra have equal like mental faculties or an equal share of them, I should say? Or is there one main one that holds all like executive functions and then the rest are just, you know, rabid biting machines with very little else going on? Whoopsie daisies, I wasted, potentially wasted a charge. I'm not paying attention to how often we are able to hit that 30% here. I guess Mind Burst has gone down a bit. Roots seems to be sitting pretty at eight there until that last one. So I do like that we'll be a little bit loosey-goosey with our wand charges. It'd be pretty funny if you could one-shot Lerny with a Mind Blast and I'd have Evo. I do like that thematically. I mean, I already love that Lerny's main counter is just the Phantom Mirror because 27 heads beats 27 heads every time for some reason. Probably something to do with the order of operations for summons attacks or like allied attacks versus enemies. Couldn't tell you, honestly. Son of a gun. So you can see a little bit of a theme coming up here. Way too many Hydras. But just shillelagh all these sons of guns to our heart's content like one does. And no real issues here. At least that's the dream. Just smash our way, smash and grab. Could ponder the, the Hydra of Theseus. <laughs> if each head is replaced, is it still the same, same Hydra? Indeed. That's actually a very interesting question. I've never thought about it that way before. That, that very much runs counteractively to uh, my proposed theory of executive head. <laughs> because... Otherwise, if you lose that head, you would be dead. Interesting. Will we ever know? Will the secrets of the universe unveil themselves to us? Okay, this is going to be a time for Serpent's Lash, even though it's going to hurt the ever-living craps out of us with the... Barbara. Oh me, oh my, do I just risk it? I mean, I probably do. Alternatively, it would be like, let's check beer, 92%. I'll take a 92% chance. Oh, barbs. Okay, Barbaras are gone. Get me out. Holy moly. <laughs> Almost grinded ourselves to a slow and painful death there. Not great. Give him a learn the old look at this photograph. It is true that for many people, our main weakness is looking at a photograph of ourselves. Maybe that's the truly devastating aspect of the Phantom Mirror attack. It's not so much that 27 heads beats 27 heads. It's just having to uh, look into that mirror and comprehend the true monstrosity of your own appearance is enough to, to make any beast quake in its boosts. Could be, could be. But let's train some fighting for general health and more evo, I guess. A little all over the place. Nothing really standing out to me as strictly necessary. So we're in a bit of free space territory. I'm going to use up all my mind burst on hydras here. But by golly, is it worth it? Whew, not too shabby here. Even in layer 5, we're doing alright. Normally this would have been probably at the point of wanting to back off and come back when we're feeling a little more confident and competent, but it's looking pretty dang good. Gotta love that uh, built-in, whatchamacallit, rampage, I believe is what the kids are calling it these days. Okay, we did use our last mind burst there. I actually should have been using Wand of Flame while you were in 
steamy territory, but that's fine. Let's just finish you off with a quick silver. And then I should probably back off. I'm worried that more hydras are coming out of the woodwork here, and I'm not really emotionally or mentally prepared to deal with those sons of guns in this uh, moment of time. Cane Toad, on the other hand, you can come. You're cool with me, friend. Holy moly. Well, somehow we're managing to uh, scrape through this, if ever so barely. But definitely enjoying it, at the very least. So let us potentially say goodbye to Lair 5 here for the moment until I'm feeling a bit more confident on that side of things and instead back up to regular dungeon, I guess. Should be feeling a little bit more our speed now that we've had some good opportunity to, to level up in all those good RPG ways. Uh, you kids should be fairly straightforward, though I'm worried I'll be made to eat those words. Fortunately, not yet. Still maybe at some point. Don't get it twisted, but not yet. And that's always a, uh, a victory in and of itself. Holy moly. Well, all the charming... Uh, a man could need, especially considering the fact that we won't even be using charges every time. Sir, could you roll this way, please and thank you? I believe in you, Boulder Beetle. You win these every time. Just keep it up. Yeah, Josephine, no problem. Son of a gun. Well, Josephine should still not be too much of a problem for us here. What are you doing, actually? Hold up. That's your ghostly fireball? Did it just get a new sprite, or is it doing something new and terrifying? Oh no. Oh, the slow is going to be a problem. Skeletal warriors, eh? Unfortunately, this isn't Baldur's Gate, and our bludgeoning shlele doesn't get any kind of special bonuses here today. I guess I could potentially just Serp and Slash out of this, right? Get the free steps and head upstairs. Beautiful. And we'll just reset this one more time. Where the heck are you? It's always the tricky part is finding the unseen horror the first time. No, oh, not so bad when you just one shot it, I guess. Only have to find it the one time in that case. Just double check the message here. Okay. All good. And there's the entrance door. Okay, I was hoping to find that soon because good chances that we find ourselves some wonderful axes down that direction. At least that's the hope. So we'll still probably just finish off this floor the old fashioned way. It's going to be hard to say goodbye to our, our good old draining axe here. Corrosion minus two. That feels new. I thought it only worked in multiples of four. Interesting. Um, what was I? There was something I was just thinking about saying or doing. Oh, it might have just been further elaborating on the thought that uh, I don't really want to get rid of my draining axe. It's definitely been doing some pretty solid work for us so far here. But I guess we shall see if it, uh, if we get served up a draining broad axe, for example. Don't mind if I do. Let's see, though, how we fare down this way. If, I guess for a ranged character, oftentimes those uh, kobolds have uh, hand cannons. So this would potentially be a good place to fulfill that aspect of your run. Do, 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 do I have anything to really work against you? I mean, I guess I can just want to flame you over and over again. In fact, let's just quiver that bad boy. Makes our lives slightly easier. We do have shoals coming up, so I'm very likely to be wanting a lot of flame charges down that way. 
but we're still ways off and it's not like we use them for really anything else normally so i think that's just fine 2d9 with our decent evocations training good to know let them take one step closer so we get our beautiful little rampage strike those were scarier enemies that would have been a decent opportunity i feel to try out um heavenly storm heavenly storm is something that i very rarely um actually use plus five war axe okay i guess if i have to i'll take it do i want to swap to it immediately i guess we're we're back in the science lab once more here so 0.7 and 16 damage with the hand axe if i take you off my friend son of a gun hold up Gotta work against the AI here a little bit. Or the UI, I should say. Still 0.7, we go up to 27 damage. Might be worth the lack of draining. Just being able to one-shot enemies a little more frequently would be extremely helpful for our continued survival. Don't like... Yeah, how many summoners? There we go. They're starting to, to bring in the heavy guns here. In fact, do I even use any wand charges? I don't think so. I think we instead try to lure them to the stairs, and if they would be oh so kind as to join us. Actually, I feel like I took more damage than I cared for there. Having uh, five different types of priests smiting us at one time, not ideal by any stretch. So we're going to play this one slightly safer here. Oh, and that's a lot of pull arms. In fact, if I can just... Yeah, I can bring you up. Oh, you... That's a dislocation weapon. Distortion, of course, is what we normally call those, of course. Yikes. Well, I'm going to have to focus you down, I think, with some of our stronger ones then instead. And just make sure that you don't get off any hits. Perfect. Still not necessarily ideal by any means, but hey, we got through. And, okay, this High Priest, yeah, that's within our uh, pay grade to take care of here. In fact, oh, we can keep dodging around this corner. I should just heal up, and I'm going to do so. Looked like there was a Sorcerer coming. I didn't see a High Priest, but I was wrong. There was indeed a High Priest as well. That is slightly terrifying, but if these buddies keep lining up in just such a way, then maybe that's fine. We'll wait out another hundred turns here, make sure all the summons die off before we brave the depths once more, and rinse, repeat, and so on and so forth until the end of time itself. <laughs> Yes, Lerny, indeed. Our, our best friend, of course. Off in... Oh, it's been too long since I played Hades, if I'm blanking on this. Is it... Asphodel is where you start off. And then... I'm also watching Chaos right now, so I should have some amount of Greek mythology on the forefront of my mind, but I cannot remember to save my life. What the, the other layers... Are labeled as but regardless i'm too far now and cannot salvage this reference so unfortunately we must let it go but holy moly things going pretty dang smooth i feel like i did see i saw a magic axe at some point right am i just losing my mind I guess these things are not mutually exclusive. There was a hand axe of freezing. Okay, that might be what was on my brain. Overcharged wands. I mean, I am a bit of a gadgeteer myself. Mind burst? I don't know about that. What is a cogling? So it's a, a goblin in an exosuit. So it's kind of like a tinkerer goblin of sorts. But yeah, using the power of the ex exosuit, we have, you know, multiple weapons dual wielding axes over here or at least normally we'd be dual wielding axes we're now more so dual wielding a mason and axe i mean 
Let's check the chances of fear here. 97? Okay, I should just fear. Reset all of this. Those kiddos definitely pack a bit more of a wallop than I was giving them credit for. Holy, come back at the end there with vengeance as well. Other option, I guess, would have been to serpent slash that son of a gun. See how they feel about that. In fact, now is probably a good time to do just that. Make sure we're not taking too much heavy damage as we make our approach on any kind of scary casters. But there we go. Beautiful. 